Okay, I'm standing outside um, of our new school room and the phase one of the remodel is to get rid of these plastic windows. You can see they're like ripped and broken down there from our, um, we used to have dogs from our dogs. And so we're putting in real windows. There are the real windows, so exciting. Here it goes. We're so excited. So the screens are still up, but we're taking those out right now. We're gonna put these three windows in today, do these two windows another day. And I think we're gonna board up those little windows on the side because we don't have a lot of wall space. Okay, so this is the door to our house. And then these three windows are new. And my father-in-law um, and husband installed those, put in some sheetrock and some insulation. I'm like obsessed with how nice they look compared to what we used to have, which is these, like still with these two windows, which are plastic. You can see that one of our dogs um, that we used to have ate windows so these two are going to get replaced later this week as well and then on this side that's like a barbecue fireplace thing which is not usable anymore <clears throat> but there used to be two little windows right here and right here and my father-in-law uh said why don't we sheetrock over that so that you have a place to hang supplies for school um and i thought that was just great so I'm really excited that he thought of that and executed it. So I'm probably gonna paint the fireplace white and then everything else kind of like a creamy white. Here's what the ceiling looks like. We're gonna hopefully replace that guy. And then this has to be, the dog's like scratched at a bunch of this stuff. Okay, hold on one second. So I'm gonna clean this up and paint that. But this is the exterior of the house. Um, the old exterior before this room was added on. So that's why it's um, plastered. So that's where we're at. Oh, and today I painted, I still have to do one more coat. Okay, so you come out this door into like our backyard. And then these are the three windows that are, were just reinstalled or were installed, pardon me. And I painted the whole thing gray because they put in siding up near the top and they had to frame these windows because um, the old ones were bigger. So did that and then I have to paint the, um, the trim. And then this is like what, see this is, sorry the sun, is, there we go. This is what the front of the room looks like. So those windows still have to be replaced. That's happening on Friday. And then I'll do the same thing essentially on this side, paint. And then here is where we're at so far with the boarded up windows. And then he's gonna uh, put siding on the outside over here and then I'll paint this also. All right, so schoolroom windows are in like real actual, <laughs> see the kids? <laughs> real actual windows, not plastic ones anymore. We covered up those two windows and then this is, the old exterior wall to our house. And this like patio was put in by somebody else. That map's going higher, don't worry. <laughs> but here's the space all mopped. I'm gonna have to like do some texturing here and painting is coming next. Whoa, that's coming out. So excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited for these little people.
So the fireplace is kind of whitewashed, but I haven't decided if I want to leave it that way. The um, sheetrock has been primed on all of the windows. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> and then um, I primed like around the funkiness of this wall. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna try and. Um... Thanks, Manny. I will. Everywhere. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and fix the stucco there because I'll be hanging stuff and having bookshelves. So I need to decide what I'm gonna do there. But kind of giving me an idea of what the whitewash will look like. I'm gonna do cream, not white, as our paint, but this is just the primer. So it kind of shows me what it's gonna look like. Okay. Anyways, so <laughs> I went with these tiles, which we had some in our living room at one point, and I'm trimming them up to fit pretty darn close to perfect. Not, I mean, you guys, you know. There's gonna be bookcases and stuff on this side, so I'm not super worried about what this edge looks like. But so far, so good. Lots of edges left, but it's a process. Here we go. Okay, friends, I think it's done. And now it's just time to decorate, clean the windows, and move our stuff in. This is like way better than I had ever, 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 ever imagined. I'm like ecstatic. So we got floor tiles um, because this is like an old patio room. It has that concrete foundation. And um, I just really wanted to be sure that it was like easy to clean and safe and just amazing. Okay, so my father-in-law is gonna make me a little shelf to go in this old like barbecue fireplace. And then we're gonna turn that into a shrine and I have a rosary coming that we're gonna hang right there over our map, by our map, um, which I need to straighten out. But this is, this is it guys. Woo! All right, phase two is to decorate. Oh, thanks for journeying with us on this. It's been really fun. It's taken about a month. I'm obsessed with the ceiling. It's great. This is, this is great. So decorate, move in, and then have it blessed. We're ready to go. Woo -woo. And I get to look at it from our kitchen window, which is so cool to me.